When you're graphing a rational function, it's a very, very important to make sure you know how to identify the horizontal asymptotes. To identify the horizontal asymptotes, all we need to focus our attention on is going to be our degrees in our numerator and our denominator. So make sure everything is in descending order, right? You have your highest power first going down. So what that means is you're gonna be looking at your leading term. And when the powers are exactly the same, our horizontal asymptote is simply going to be the leading coefficient over the leading coefficient, which in this case is going to be a three over seven. Now in this case, you have a three X, well, it's not raised to a number, but it's actually raised to the power of one. So now you can see the degree in my denominator is larger than the degree in the numerator. This one's pretty easy to remember. It's always going to be y equals zero. Doesn't matter what the numbers are, the degree in the denominator is bigger than the degree in the numerator, y equals zero is your horizontal asymptote. Now, what about when the degree in the denominator is less than the degree in the numerator? In this case, you have three x squared divided by seven x, again, to the first power minus one. Again, this one's pretty simple to remember as well. Whenever your degree in your denominator is smaller than your degree in your numerator, that means I can actually divide into it. So therefore, there is no horizontal asymptote.